Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So, what's up in Japan? So, yes, there's currently a running manga called Steve Jobs that is basically a manga adaptation of Walter Isaacson's biography of Steve Jobs that you've seen in pretty much every single bookstore you've walked into. The manga covers pretty much everything the original biography covered, like the major influences that he had early on in life, dealing with being adopted, realizing that he was smarter than everyone else around him, meeting Steve Wozniak, and eventually going down the path of Zen Buddhism. Oh, and of course, being a hippie. The art style is intentionally simplistic to go along with Jobs' infamous minimalistic tastes, while still managing to make it look aesthetically pleasing. This manga is serialized in Kodashan's Hatsukiss magazine, and in the next issue on June 13th, it appears that this will be the final issue, or the final chapter of the Steve Jobs manga series. Mari Yamazaki, who is the creator for this manga, had her previous work, Therme Rome, adapted into an anime as well as a live action film that got almost 75 million USD at the Japanese box office, which was the second highest grossing film that year it was released in. So there might be a chance that we see the Steve Jobs series adapted into an anime or a film in the near future. Or God forbid a Japanese live action of Steve Jobs, which wouldn't really make any sense anyways. But little did we know, there's actually another Steve Jobs manga called Steve's. It's written by a pair of manga artists named Yume, but this one looks much more different than the one by Yamazaki. Steve's covers much more of the corporate history and drama with a touch of comedy. If you look at the first chapter, which is available for free on the official website, you will see that they cast Jobs as an almost action hero of some sort, while he was just trying to secure a supply of DRAM chips for Smiley Wozniak. This one is obviously not as focused in giving the biography side of things, but looks way more fun to read. So much fun, in fact, just to give you an idea of how popular this manga is in Japan, or just in general, it recently had a successful crowdfunding campaign, which raised over 2.7 million yen to start a translation project to make this series available in English. The original goal was only 1 million yen, which meant they raised 1.7 million yen over the original goal. People really wanted this to happen. And after checking out Steve Jobs as a mini superhero businessman making business deals look like a shonen battle, it's hard not to want this series to be available in English. The crowdfunding has finished successfully, so the project should be underway now, and hopefully will be available to us soon. But anyways, what did you think of the two Steve Jobs manga? Did you even know they existed? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and don't forget to follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And subscribe to Tokyo Source if you haven't already for the latest things people are talking about in Japan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.